I've always loved to sing. It's my passion. I go to an art school and I just, it's every, every everything to me. I really want to just share my voice with everyone. I hope to get successful with singing and acting and yeah, just make it out there. One Star Rising, um, it just looked really, really fun, and my dream is to be a singer and be in the entertainment industry for life, so I think this is a great point to kind of get out there and to learn a lot. My name is Mark Mouton. I am the executive producer and showrunner for One Star Rising. One Star Rising is a voice competition I created for young talent to show the world what they have to offer. My assistant Emma Graves and I spent every evening recruiting talent, sending out flyers, putting ads all over the internet, and it ended up being pretty good. We got very talented kids from seven different states uh, that are and we're invited to come down and audition as well as our open auditions right here in New Orleans, Louisiana. We're excited for audition day today. They've sent us clips of them singing, you know, we kind of picked them preemptively from that, um, invited them here to audition, but you can sound great in one video, but once you get here in person and on stage, the nerves might get the best of you. So we're really kind of excited to see how they do in person today. I just love to perform. I just hope that I make a living out of performing and not being in office or anything. So I just want to be out there, uh, meet people, explore, get experience and everything. I hope to be able to, you know, kind of get that record deal in order to kind of make money to repay my single mom for taking care of me her whole life. I'm singing an original song by me. It's called How to Write a Song. Um, I actually just wrote it for an 8th grade school project, but um, a lot of people seem to like it, so I guess I decided to sing it, and um, I'm excited to be here. Name? Your turn. We're going to wrap at succession all of these kids singing. Uh, and it's gonna be quick pace, it's gonna move quick, and decisions will be made in 10 to 15 seconds if that kid is worthy to move on to the next round. From there, we'll let them sing the song of their choice that they prepared. I'm auditioning because I love singing and I really wanna give this a shot. My hopes are to make something of every opportunity I get. Well, I was like scrolling around looking for um, like fun things to do, especially like with everything happening, like quarantine and whatnot. And then I saw this and I thought it would be really cool, you know? <laughs> My mom told me about it. My mom had found it and she told me about it and I thought it was going to be a really cool opportunity. I want to go to college for theater and I hope to one be on Broadway. Hi. And who are you? My name's Sarah. I'm from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. All right, let's see what you got. <clears throat> Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. All right, Emma, I'll take the next one. <laughs> hey, um, are you guys excited? Yeah. yeah. We're just trying to warm up over here, prepare our songs. Yes. It's going to be really fun. I don't know amazing. what to expect. Yes. I mean, you guys are awesome. sound amazing. You guys sound amazing. I feel like I feel like I feel comfortable with y'all, so I'm not really nervous with y'all. Yeah. But like I feel like once I go out on the stage, I'm just gonna either A, be like, it's just for fun, but I gotta do it seriously. <laughs> or I'm just gonna walk, <laughs> but I'm just walk on the like I'm just gonna, I don't know, like, <laughs> I know me too. I'm scared I'm gonna be so nervous. Yes, I'm gonna like, have a bridal I'm gonna walk on and be 
like if y'all look me in the eyes, I will laugh. Please don't look me in the eyes. <laughs> like me. Next, please. <laughs> Next, please. We had a good turnout. A good body turnout, not so much talent turnout. Amazing grace. How sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. Amazing grace. Emma. Get me some people that can sing, my God. Mark was getting frustrated with the process because it seemed like we had a lot of rough auditions back to back to back. And so he's yelling at me and he says, Emma, go find me some talent. And so I did. Well, hello, who are you? Hello, my name is Mary Desmond. Hi everybody, I'm Mary Desmond. I'm a senior in college right now, and I thought that nothing else makes sense except for, for me to study music. You gotta get those vocal folds nice and warm and ready to sing. Am I right? For my whole entire life, my biggest dream has been to perform. I don't know, it's just something that I don't want to give up on, no matter how hard it's gonna be, because I love it so, so much. Cue music when you are ready. But I couldn't do it And he tried to discourage me He took his best at my life But my heart he couldn't see For years I've struggled to make my mark Very polished performer. I remember her resume and her background. She's been doing this since she was you know, 12 years old, and she's performed with some really big people. I I won't give up. Yes! If I can lead by example in just some world, it's time to shine. Just to reach out and show the world, it's time to shine. When she's got every ingredient. She's a quadruple threat and an early odds favorite in this competition. Hey, I'm back. It's me, Sarah. I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna go again. Or, yeah, you, we cool with that? Oh. Uh, I just wanted to go again because I know, like, I know I have so much and, like, I just feel like I could do this. So if you could just step oh, aside. Okay, Caden, so you mind stepping to the side? And what was your name again? M me? Yes. Oh, I'm Sarah. Real Sarah. quick. Okay. You ready? Sure. <clears throat> Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. That's fine. I see your application says you're a dancer. Might wanna. Well, yeah, I'm a triple threat. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you, so Sarah I got it. G. We'll let you know. So you'll just call me. Yeah. And let me know. Or okay. my assistant will. Or your assistant. Okay. Yes. But like, we know. We know. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. Thank you. All right, get the mic back to Cadence, please. Yeah, come on, girl. <laughs> Good luck. You'll need it. Everybody wants to talk about a redheaded performer. I, I don't remember her last name, but uh, she auditioned, and it, it wasn't the best of auditions. Uh, and then she came back later on, and I just kind of said what she wanted to hear, get her off stage to keep the day moving forward, because we're on a deadline on getting through these auditions. 
Well, hello. Uh, who are you and where do you hail from? Hi, my name is Andrea. I am 17 and I live in Dallas, Texas. I want to be a singer, songwriter, and a actress in film, which is really hard. I'm really, really bad right now. This is a mossy, at least the picture that I put in. This is Lauren. This is young me. Young me is very, um, Interesting. I have a Timothy Chalamet blanket. Um, I have a Spider-Man jacket. I am a huge Marvel fan as well. I am really nerdy. <laughs> so I just found out that my AirPods were actually just in the wash. Currently, I'm in the varsity mixed choir at my school. I'm in Cantare and I'm in a ensemble. And yeah. The end. That's all I got. All right. Let's go. This is my song on how to write a song. I know, don't leave yet, just listen along. These five easy steps will help you write the best. It's easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Forgive me if this song is cheesy. Anyway, step one, think of a poem. Step two, write it down. Step, step three, learn how to play an instrument. Step four, think of a tune. Step five, play it for people other than you. Uh, Andrea came from Dallas, Texas through the open auditions. She was one of the rarities. Uh, she brought her own original music. Like, ooh, ooh. The song itself, I just kind of fell in love with it. So far, I'm impressed with her original materials. Uh, and, and that song is still stuck in my head today. This was my song on how to write a song. I want to thank you for listening along. These five easy steps helped me write the best. I really enjoyed Andrea Bedka, um, just because she's got such a fresh, um, quirky, unique sound to her with the ukulele. It's just so light and airy, and I think she brings something different to the competition. Um, she was just in the open call. You know, I hadn't seen any videos about her, so she was a total shock for me. Uh, and I'm just, you know, in love with her. So I'm hoping that she gets through and that she does well. And who are you and where are you from? Tris Theroba from Brobridge, Louisiana. All right, you can begin. Amazing grace, how sweet the sign that saved yeah, a next. Uh, My name is Macy Mitchell, and I'm from Pineville, Louisiana. OK, and uh, what will you be singing for us today? I'll be singing Part of Your World from The Little Mermaid. Great. Uh, go ahead and cue the music. This stuff, isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? Wouldn't you think I'm the girl, the girl who has everything? And I just remember, you know, her stage presence, she's a little bitty thing, uh, about four foot ten. And I had trouble hearing her when she was talking to me, but when the music started and she started singing, could tell her technical and background training. Uh, so Macy is a little power pack that's gonna bring it. Uh, I'm confident that she'll move it far into this contest. Alright, alright, thank you. Hi. And who are you? My name is Daniel Paul and I am from New Orleans, Louisiana. Great. Uh, cue the track. said you've got a new friend But does she love you better than I can There's a big black 
black sky over my town. Daniel is a big booming guy. He's a big personality. His voice is beautiful. I'm in the corner watching you kiss her. That's what I'm talking about. Another one? Well, hello there. Hi. Who are you? Victoria Lorette. You could tell she liked the spotlight being on her uh, and all of the attention. Heart, don't fail me now. Courage, don't desert me. Don't turn back now that we're here. People always say, Life is full of choices. No one ever mentions fear or how the world can seem so vast. On a she commands the stage. She's a powerhouse, uh, a young teen. I believe she's 15 or 16. Uh, but she looked like she had no fear on stage, that she was at home. Uh, and she just played into her, her song. Back to who I was, on to find my future, things my heart still needs to know. Yes, let this be a sign. Let Very talented singer. Uh, I think she's a keeper. Well, hello there. Uh, hey, who are you and where are you from? My name is Nick Wilson, uh, born and raised in Minnesota. Um, yeah, it's a winter wonderland out here now. And the sun really doesn't come out here in Minnesota much during the winter. That's all right, I get to do my favorite thing over here, which is create music, which is what I'm going to do today. I'm going to show you kind of my process. I am a pretty laid back person. Um, I'm usually go with the flow kind of guy, uh, open minded. I would say people would say that about me. We become so attached to this art that has helped, I know, me and a lot of my other friends, you know, it's such a great way to cope with feelings and share a bond with other musicians. So yeah, I wanted to share that with you um, on my work process. Okay, at your will. The clock ticks and talks. The devil down in hill marks. Our lives just fall apart. It's so bad that it hurts my heart. What happened to I know based on the video that he sent in, he had a really nice sound in the video. But again, he's one of the ones who might, you know, get in front of a crowd and get a little nervous. I don't think he's ever, I know he's performed on the piano in front of a crowd, but I don't think he's actually ever sang in front of people. And that's really scary to make yourself vulnerable like that in that way. And so he has it. I feel like it's in him and he could do it if we could pull it out of him. But I don't know if he has the confidence to believe in himself. God needs some heroes. Nick was one that I did scout. I saw him sing to some of his original songs, and I'm like, Nick, I understand you're a great piano player, but you have a, a, a beautiful, timid voice. Uh, now, his, his audition, you know, mm, voice. God needs some heroes. If he really worked on his voice, he could really become a, a dual threat. I see the talent. Uh, and I think I could bring it out if he'll listen and train with our, our vocal mentors during this process. They thought they could dispose of me. They tried to make me small. I suffered each indignity when I rise above it all. Yes, the price I paid was all I had. You could tell she was a little scared on stage, a little timid, but once she got midway through her song, she was letting it rip. What is 
your name again? Lily Casbon. Some of the restrictions I put on contestants was that uh, I started the age at 14, because uh, I believe that you know, a 14-year-old is now coming into their own as a performer. And uh, the screening from our, my staff was supposed to be nobody auditions uh, that is younger than 14. I'm Peyton Clement. I'm from Lafitte, Louisiana, and I'm 13 years old. She's a 13-year-old, so she made it past the screeners. I don't know if she fibbed or lied, but she told me she was 13. I was like, whoa. Counting days, counting days since my love of being got lost on me. Cause every breath that I've been taking since you left feels like a waste on me. I've been holding on to hope that you'll come back when you can find some peace. I think Peyton is going to surprise people. I think she's going to surprise people. I think she's one of the youngest people here today. Uh, and she just has a really big voice. There must be something in the water. Cause every day is getting colder. And if only I can hold you. You'll keep my head from going up. You can tell she doesn't have the stage experience of some of the other kids, but she's got the voice for it, for sure. Well, hello. Who are you and where are you from? I'm Samantha Johnson. I'm from New Orleans, Louisiana. And how old are you? I'm 14. Go when you're ready. And I know it's only in my mind that I'm talking to myself and not to him and although i know that he is blind still i say she had to wait several hours to be able to audition uh she was towards the back of the list you know the line was out the door you know way before we started today uh but the minute she got on stage she just let loose and you could just see the natural talent oozing from this this young kid. Without me, his world will go on turning. A world that's full of happiness that I have never known. And Sam brought it. The talent's there, the energy's there, and uh, she could go really far. So uh, just keep her. Well, hi, how are you? Howdy, howdy. I'm doing good, how you doing? Doing great, and who are you and where are you from? Hey y'all, my name is Micah Pabletti and I am from a little town called Baxter, Georgia. I currently live in Louisville, Kentucky. My husband is in the military and we moved here a little over a year ago, I would say. Whenever I'm having like a bad day or I just wanna get away from the stress of life, I like to go here out to the river one of the few places that I can go to clear my head. So there is this competition where I'm from back in Georgia. It's called, uh, at the time it was Junior Talent. And I was 14 at the time. So basically Junior Talent is you have all these churches who come together and they compete. That was the very first competition or anything that I've ever done like that. I went with the song, His Eyes on the Sparrow, and <laughs> I ended up winning the thing, and I won, I won the category for singing. And it was so funny, but it was so awesome, and I was just like, I won. <laughs> I'm dreaming, I'm moving, I'm leaving. Pablete, Pabletti. Uh, I really enjoyed him just because he has such a soulful riff going on. Um, and so I really wasn't expecting that big voice to come out of such a small person, you know? He's so cute and small. Um, but he seems sweet, like a genuine human being, which, you know, if we're gonna be on set with him for a month, you know, we don't want drama. Soaring in the sky, I'm dreaming, I'm moving. Wait, hang on, Michael, hang on, hang on. Emma! 
Bring the California girl that just got off stage back up and bring uh, another wireless mic, please. And Micah was so timid on stage that I brought Mary back out to help Micah's audition. That's the process. From there, we're gonna bring them in. We're gonna train them. Uh, we're gonna put them with our professional music people. And they're gonna go through a round one competition uh, where they go go head to head. Hey, One Star Rising. This is Carly Betty All from Broadway's Hamilton, and I have a big announcement. I've invited Carly Betty All, uh, best known as an original castmate of Hamilton, and Ryan Vasquez, best known from Wicked, to judge them in the final round. Just want to let you all know that I'll be seeing you in January. Where we'll declare a champion and a winner to season one for One Star Rising. So I just found out I got into One Star Rising. I'm so excited. I made it onto One Star Rising. I am ecstatic. I'm super duper excited to join the cast. I am about to cry. I just found out I'm gonna get to be on One Star Rising. I just found out that I made it through auditions. Obviously, I mean, why would I not? I made it. I'm so excited. I made it into One Star Rising. Woo! We found a great location. Uh, Fountain Blues State Park is where we're going to be housed for a month. As far as seclusion goes, that's fantastic for COVID concerns because it's less people in and out of the park, so it provides a safe environment. Another reason that we chose Fountain Blue is because um, we have kind of spotty cell phone reception out there, and so it, it's less of a distraction and they can focus more on the competition. Welcome to One Star Rising. You're my final 10 contestants where over the next month, you will be prepping all of your songs for the finale of this competition, where only one of you will rise to the top. <laughs>